Hey friends, my name is Alicia and I am a certified personal trainer and lifestyle consultant at Livia. Thank you all for joining me again for a fabulous workout today. We will be focusing on the stomach muscles or the abs. Uh, so this is a really nice workout to throw um, in your routine, maybe at the end of a cardio session or a standalone workout at home. If this is your first time working out, please make sure that you are clear to exercise, especially if you have any limitations. So make sure that you uh, contact your doctor and are cleared first. If this isn't your first time, feel free to make it a little more challenging for yourself. Uh, we will uh, end the workout with a cool down, stretch out the uh, stomach muscles. We'll be working them hard today. I always keep a water bottle near me here, so please feel free to um, take as many water breaks as you need. Pause the video, even if I don't take a break. Please listen to your body, that's super important. I do have dumbbells here. We will be using um, these in our workout. If you don't have dumbbells, that's fine. You can use a water bottle or um, a can of soup, something like that, just to add a little more resistance today. So what we will first do, let me show you our first exercise. Let's get started here. So our first exercise, we um, are coming down to our seat here. Make sure you have something comfortable to uh, lay on and sit on. I have my mat here. I'm gonna also grab my dumbbells and show you the first exercise that we'll be doing. I'm gonna adjust my mat a little bit here. Okay. All right, so our legs here are slightly bent. And what we're doing is we are just punching to the side and coming back to starting position, punching. So cross punch, cross punch. So we are working a little bit of our uh, arms in for this exercise, but what's really important is to make sure your core is tight at all times. So when we're punching, we're really twisting and we are keeping the core very strong and tight. Now that's our first exercise. If you want it a little more challenging, you can bring your feet up like so and keep them up the entire time, crossed or like this, and you're punching, punching. Now, that's a little more challenging. You really have to use your abs as a stabilizer there. Let's um, begin with this exercise. We will be doing 10 reps total. So I'm gonna keep my feet planted on the ground. Listen to your body, that's super important. Make sure your weights aren't too heavy that you're not able to really twist and hold it in that position there um, and not drop it. So that's important uh, to prevent injury too. All right, so let's cross over punching to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Relax here, stretch it out. You can pull your knees into your chest. This is really nice when you're feeling it. All right, let me show you the next exercise and then we're gonna do it all over. So the next one here, now, if you want it more challenging, you can have your um, hands very close to your bum here, and you're coming in, your legs are straightening up, core is tight, and crunching in. Out, in, out, in. Okay, if that's too challenging, um, it's a little bit easier if you put your hands more behind you here, and out, and in, out, and in. Try not to rock your body like this too much. Just slight rocking with this. Okay? So let's try for uh, eight here. When you're ready, one, two, three, 
four, you got it. Five, six, seven, eight. Woo. Stretch it out. Very nice job. All right, we're gonna go back to the punches that we did. Remember, we're gonna do 10. I'm gonna take those breaks, okay? Even if I don't take the water breaks, we will be taking one shortly. But if your body's telling you that you need a uh, sooner break, then do so, please. <laughs> All right, so punching to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Ooh, good job, you should be feeling it. Nice. So take that water break, I'm reaching in my water here. If you are um, a person that maybe gets dizzy easily, um, make sure that you're just looking forward when you're crunching. So if you're looking forward instead of following it from side to side. Oh, for individual that has some trouble um, with balance or gets dizzy, um, it's important just to stay looking straight. All right, good job you guys. Now back to those in and outs, like I like to call them. <laughs> All right. Hands are behind us here. Our core is tight. We are breathing through this entire exercise here. All right, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Hug it together here. Nice job. All right, the next exercise, I'm gonna move my water bottle out of the way here. Let's lay all the way flat on the mat here. Our hands are going to be reaching above our head. And what we're going to be doing is we are slowly coming up. See how when I come up to this position, I am really reaching to the top and coming here to your toes. When I come back down, this is all your core here. This is the whole movement. When I come back down, I'm not just flopping down, right? I'm slowly lowering my body to the ground. Very controlled with your core muscles. So I'm coming up, slow, your core is doing all the work, and I'm reaching for the toes. I'm slowly coming back down, not flopping, very controlled, and down. Now that is the whole movement there. Looks easy, but when you really put the power in your abs, you will feel it. Very important to have a strong core. So let's begin. We will do um, eight reps here. Hands are overhead. Coming up slowly. Reaching for the toes. One. Slowly lower it back down. Got 
six. it out here. You can do some side bends here, stretching out the sides, or some twists. That was very, very good. We will do that um, exercise again here. We'll do a different one. Let me know. Let me show you that one here. All right, so we are leaning on their back here. Now don't fall asleep on me. <laughs> I know it's comfortable. <laughs> All right, so we're here and we will just be um, alternating our legs here. They're both straight. One is hovering about two inches off the ground. Slight bend in the leg is okay. And that's the movement. Now, if you want it a little more challenging for yourself, you can come off the ground. See how my shoulder blades are off the ground? If you're right here, still working the lower stomach muscles, but just this is a little more challenging. Whatever your body needs at this time. Let's try for 10 total. When you're ready. All right. Let's begin with the left leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure the core is very tight. All right. Take a little breather. We're gonna go into that first exercise. Here with your arms above your head and slowly coming up and reaching your toes nice and controlled. We will do eight here. Ready? One. Two, nice strong. Three, four, you got it. water bottle out of the way. Six. Seven. Eight. Woo! Nice job. Stretch it out. We are going to go back to those scissor kicks. Oh yeah. Your core should be feeling it here. It's gonna be rock hard before you know it. <laughs> Just a good thing. All right. Down on your back here. Back to those scissor kicks. Now, I'm gonna make it a little more challenging for myself. I am going to come up a little bit. My shoulder blades are gonna be off the ground. It's always good to challenge yourself here. If it's getting too easy for you, please feel free to do so. All right, right foot is hovering about two inches off the ground. Left leg is gonna be up and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Pull those knees to your chest here. Nice job. All right. Let's just do a regular crunch here, except we are going to pulse. Pulse. <laughs> so when we come up, pulse for two and down. Pulse, down. One, two, down. One, two, down. Okay. Let's do 10 of those whenever you're ready. Let's do it. One, two, down. Feel up to it. You want to challenge yourself? Add a couple more reps here. Go for 12. If it's too challenging, definitely back it down. Listen to your body. All right. Ready? Set. One. Breathing. Last one. Whew. Perfect. Get that water. Oh, I know I need it. All right. Who is ready for some mountain climbers? I'm going to move my weights and show you the next exercise. All right, so we're coming into a plank position here. The up plank, plank position. Our hands are shoulder width apart. Coming into a plank. And what we're going to do is we're going to cross our knee to the opposite elbow. And alternate. Okay? So opposite knee, opposite elbow. We're going to do five. Um, actually, let's do, I like, <laughs> let's do six alternating. And let's do five straight through the middle. Okay? Remember, you can take a break anytime you need. Okay, so six alternating, and then five straight in the middle, alternating. All right, if you're ready, let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, stay up. One, two, three, four, five, core is tight, stretch it out a bit. We're gonna do that again here. Whew. All right, same thing, we got it, we got it. We are almost done here. All right, alternating, six, one, two, three, four, Five, six, five in the center. One, two, three, four, five. Hold, hold, hold. Perfect. Had to throw that one in there for you guys. All right, let's go down here onto your stomach. 
stretching it out. Down, reaching with your hands, having your neck relaxed here. Perfect. Let's just come here and we are just stretching to one side. Side. I think we need to do a little bit of a twist here. Perfect. Well, thank you guys for joining me for this uh, workout. I hope to see you at the next one. If you have any questions at all about the movements we did today or any fitness videos at all, please direct them to fitnessatlivia.com. Thank you guys for joining me today. Good job. See ya.